In this video, let's discuss about typography in Material UI. Now, typography basically deals with the style and appearance of text on your website. If your website has text content with way too many styles or font sizes, it sort of spoils the UI. To address this concern, Material UI provides typography levels. Each level has a definite font size, font weight, and line height. Let's take a closer look at the different typography levels. In the components folder, I'm going to create a new file called MUI typography.tsx. .tsx since we are working with TypeScript in this series. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet RAFC to create a function component. To use Material UI's typography, we first need to import it. So at the top, import typography from at MUI slash material. Now let's invoke this component in the JSX. Opening and closing tag. Now there are 13 different variations of this component but we are going to take a look at 10 important ones in this video. First, we're going to look at the heading variants. To specify the variant, we use the variant prop. And for headings, the variant ranges from h1 to h6. Let me create all of them. So variant is equal to h1, and the text or the content between the opening and closing tags is h1 heading. I'm going to duplicate five times and change h1 to h2, h3, 4, 5, and 6. Let me also make sure I've spelled typography correctly. Now let's include this component in app component and head to the browser. You can see how they appear on the web page. Variant H1 has the largest size and the size decreases as we move towards H6. But what is great is that they carry the semantic element with them. If I inspect, you can see the HTML elements are H1, H2, H3 till H6. They are not just div tags with some styling. Now there are two more variants of the h6 tag that you can use and doesn't stand out as much as the h6 variant. They are subtitle 1 and subtitle 2. So I'm going to make two more copies of typography and change the variant to subtitle 1 and subtitle 2. This is subtitle 1 and this is subtitle 2. Take a look at the browser and we have subtitle 1 and 2 being displayed. If I inspect the element, you can see they are also H6 elements. However, they have different styles. Subtitle 1 has a larger font size but lesser font weight and subtitle 2 is the other way around. Depending on your use case, you can use these two variants as well. The final two variants are related to body text. If you have paragraphs of text which you need to display, you can make use of body 1 and body 2 as variants. So make a copy of the typography tag again, change subtitle 1 to body 1, and subtitle 2 variant to body 2. The inner text though, since we need good amount of content, I'm going to add lorem ipsum text. So just type in lorem and tab and it populates the text for us to work with. If we take a look at the browser, you can see the two variants have a paragraph tag as the element. Body 1 is the default 16 pixels normal font weight element and body 2 is a smaller version of it. 
what you should also know is body one is the default value of the variant prop. So if I remove variant is equal to body one, head back to the browser, there is no change and body one class is still present on the paragraph tag. So body one and body two are in fact rendered as paragraph HTML elements. Now the font sizes and font weights are all defaults from Material UI. You can, however, change it when configuring the theme. Theme and customization, however, is something we will learn later on in the series. But since we will be using default theme as we come across different components, I want to quickly point you at the right resource. In the Material UI docs, under customization, navigate to default theme. Scroll down and click on expand all. This gives you the default theme that Material UI uses. For example, the different values for breakpoints, the color palette for our application, spacing values, shadows, and we also have the typography styles. These are the styles applied to our typography variants we've just seen. Whenever we learn a new component and I make use of a style from the theme, I would like you to refer back to this theme object and understand what is the style being applied. At the end of this course, I'll also teach you how to customize this theme so you don't have to always rely on the default values. Now the next point about typography component is that you can change the semantic element using the component prop. For example, I want to use the H4 tag as the heading element in every page. However, I want the underlying HTML tag to be H1 and not H4. For that, we can specify component is equal to H1. And if we now take a look at the browser, inspect the H4 element, you can see we have the same styles, but the HTML element is an H1 element. And this is really important for semantics. The final prop I would like to highlight is gutter bottom. On the H4 variant, I'm going to set gutter bottom. By default, its value is false. If you do specify it on the component, however, the text will have a bottom margin. If we head to the browser and I hover on H4, you can see the margin at the bottom. What is great as well is the margin is dependent on the variant. Larger variants have more margin than smaller variants. Typically, when you specify page titles or section headings, adding a bit of space at the bottom is common and gutter bottom is the best way to do that. So that is about typography in Material UI. One component with a set of variants concerned with appearance of text in your application. In the next video, let's take a look at one of the most fundamental HTML elements, which is the button element. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.